Yo, what is up? So, it's been a long ass time. Dang, y'all don't even know what type of car I'm driving right now. Y'all don't know nothing. Last video I posted was getting the BMW, I'm pretty sure. And I was in that video too. Oh, uh, yeah. We're yo, good again. Yo. We're good again. So, we're currently on the way right now. We have, we got two hours and 24 minutes left right now on the road trip. Uh, but we're on the way to get a project car, but it's actually a project car this time. It's not my daily car, so it's gonna be actually a lot more fun. Once we get there, I'm gonna show you guys the car, of course, just like last time, I'm getting the 350. All right, so we're getting gas. This is how you get gas in case, so come to this thing. It's like a little machine. You press the 93, because we a big boy. Here, actually, we're gonna put this in first, like that. All right, bro, you don't gotta record. All right. 93, we a big boy. Yes, sir. All right, what is up, guys? It's actually a couple days later because um, I went to go edit that video or the first video of bringing the Integra home, and I realized that I don't have a clip of us bringing it home for like any of the rest of the night, so I kind of just ended it off there with recording. So sorry, forgot all about it. I was kind of just excited, and um, the car has a, a lifters tick, so we were kind of concerned. We were there for a long time trying to decide if we really wanted to buy it. And it also took a lot of negotiating because the dude kept wanting like $1,500 for this with the rod knock, which I mean, honestly, isn't that bad. Most of the time you can find these for like 15, $1,500 for just a roller. I honestly didn't think we were gonna make it home, but we sure enough did. Um, no issues, honestly. We did almost get into an accident on the way back because somebody went, or the highway, I guess, just the, all the traffic came to a complete stop. We were doing like 70 and uh, we found out that these brakes aren't the best. I mean, it's an old car, so can't expect the most. So um, I'm about to show you guys, give you guys like a better tour of it. Um, and yeah, so it's a 1999 Integra. It does have, unfortunately, a couple of dings and dents on it. The paint also isn't really the best. It does have aftermarket rims on it. They are racing power. Pretty clean, it does sit pretty well. It is on a spare right now, unfortunately, but we're about to go get that fixed. Yeah, the rear end of it's pretty, I mean, it's not bad. It's not in bad condition. Yo. I just realized our plate is missing. Where did our license plate go? Um, that's not good. Okay, so. But yeah, so the rear end is not bad at all. Um, it just is debadged, and then the top of it has the holes. But yeah, the interior isn't bad. The door panels aren't bad at all. They're pretty good condition. The dash is in not bad condition either. Um, besides the airbag, I guess went off. It does have a clean title, but the seats are all ripped up. And here is the engine bay. It's not in bad condition, honestly. I mean, it's pretty rough looking. It needs a nice wash. We're probably gonna do that this weekend. But yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna give it an oil change and Hope for the best on the ticking part of it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, so we just got, or we just left advanced auto parts with some parts for the Integra. We got some, hopefully engine tick stopper and a fucking air filter bracket. But yeah, so I'll show y'all whenever we get back. All right, so we're here right now at my work, AKA Tire Kingdom. We got the Integra in the air, and we're currently about to do the oil change. So we just emptied the engine oil, and pitch black oil. That is crazy, absolutely insane. But thank God we did a oil change, so we would have been having a rod knock here soon. But. So engines or oil is being emptied out or whatever. If y'all want to know, the Integra oil pan or oil bolt is right there. Uh, so yeah, we're just emptying out uh, and then gonna put the bolt back on and then take the filter off. The uh, filter is right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but the filter is right there in case y'all needed to know that. And yeah, so I'm gonna take the filter off and then uh, drop it and put some oil in it and then go from there. Alright, so we just finished the oil change on it and the liquid tick is definitely still there. 
So we are currently taking the valves off of the Integra to try and do a valve adjustment. We're gonna adjust the valves and then crank it up after that. And then hopefully that could be the issue as to why it's ticking. But if not, then we are gonna get the uh, lifters later on and then do those possibly this weekend if they come in. But I will show you guys some of the process and then, yeah. So first you're gonna wanna get a 10 millimeter. Then you're gonna wanna take this off, this off. That bolt down there, I just lost one. That bolt, that one, that one, and that one. And these are super easy to take out. So you just pop it out. Pop it out. Just set these over here, just like that. And then now we just finish taking the bolts off and then the oil cap, and then probably pull this out too. Just like that. I'll be honest with you, bro. And that's all. So. Most unexpected thing in my entire life just happened. We just removed the valve cover and oh my gosh. Dude, that's beautiful. Wow. Okay, yeah, so we're just gonna mess around with this and then uh, go from there. Three days later. All right, so we are currently at my dad's pizzeria cause I'm doing like delivery driving and stuff, but we brought the Integra up here to do the valve uh adjustment uh currently we got the valve cover off which i believe i have a video from last time that we were taking the valve cover off so i'll just put that on and then continue the video from there um so yeah we have the valve cover off and last time the reason we didn't do it like whenever we were at the apartment the last time i didn't do it is because we did not have a 12 millimeter we ended up going to advanced and buying a 12 millimeter but it didn't work so uh it ended up just like uh breaking because it was only like the u side so i don't know it just didn't work uh but yeah um we just finished it up i would show you guys but the pistons have to be rotated in a certain way or the cams so then that we can uh, measure it correctly but we're currently doing this side right here so as you guys can see this is just like sliding in and out so we're gonna need to tighten that down a little bit this thing same way we already loosened these bolts right here so we just need to adjust it and this side is the exhaust side which needs to be 0.7 which is perfect so I got like a little bit of grab, but not too much. And then same thing with this side, a little bit of grab, but not too much. So we're not even gonna touch that side. I'm gonna adjust this side, show you guys how to do it, and then go from there. So I'm about to adjust this side. This is kit, uh, piston number two, I believe. So I'm gonna just hold this and then, hold on. So yeah, it's still loose. And then I'm just gonna hold this bolt or the nut and then just twist it a little bit. It doesn't take a lot of twisting, like a little bit does a lot. So now I'm gonna test it again. Nope, still need a little bit more. Twist it a little bit more. Still need a little bit more. I'm gonna, this mm, I'm gonna do just a tiny bit more just to be safe. That's good. Perfect. So now that I did that, I'm just gonna keep it there. So just hold the flathead part still and then just try and tighten this back up. All right, and then I'm gonna remeasure it. much better okay Ooh, good all right so i got that one loose but then that one's loose i go like that okay i'm doing both that's loose that's, that's loose? super loose Right here, she seems to be like right there. Ugh. Too tight. That's probably like too much. Yeah, a little bit, just a little tiny bit tighter. Perfect. Uh, yeah, perfect. Let's tighten that back up. Perfect, perfect. Seems loosening, so. Yeah, ten. More. Yeah, perfect. More. Mm. 
Just a tad bit more, just a little, little, little. That's perfect. <laughs> Not too tight, too tight. So yeah, it's very like perfect, um, uh, perfect, very sensitive. Perfect, perfect. All right, so I am, so I'm about to loosen these ones up, or we're gonna rotate the uh, cams again, and then um, loosen these ones up. Um, I mean, we're we're gonna measure these and make sure that they're fine still. But so far, all of the exhaust side, all of the exhaust side has been good. So more than likely, just gonna have to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and spin it over. And then um, pop those bolts loose, and then we'll continue showing you guys what we're doing from there. All right, and, yeah. Hey, you need to rotate a little bit more. A little bit, so. A little bit more. All right, yeah, so now that we got them straight, we are going to measure it, and then adjust. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, so those are loose, they need to be, Tighten for sure. This one is that's good, and that is not good. And we also found that has been like finger tight this whole time. Like, oh my lord, that's bad. That's super loose. So that could be some of the ticking. I pray to God that that's all of the ticking that we're hearing. But if so I'm going to be super happy. If not, I'm not going to have too high of hopes though because I mean it sounds like very much so a lifter tick. But if it is that, then I'm going to be extremely happy. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and adjust the intake side to the 0.4 uh, to that. And then we are going to adjust the exhaust side to the 0.7. So I'm going to go ahead and pop all of these loose and then adjust them and tighten them back down. And then we're going to start her up and pray to god that that's the issue we tried getting this one off but as you can see we kind of stripped it but you know nobody has to know that <laughs> so it's okay this one's uh this one's pretty tight though so we're not gonna go we're, we're gonna go ahead and just leave that as is but this one was the loose one so we're obviously doing that and then the top one over here that didn't strip we're gonna adjust so this one and this bolt this one has previously been stripped so that wasn't us so that is, um, that one's not adjusted and this one will not be adjusted. So, but I mean, just two of them are all right. And I mean, it's not like they have that much of a gap, so it's okay. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten these ones down and then we're done. Rev it a little bit. So now we're testing to see if the tick's still there. Never know. So now that that is fixed, thank the Lord. Honestly, I'm so happy. One less problem we don't have to deal with. But um, so now just really the transmission because second gear is quite hard to get into, um, if not impossible. So we have a transmission sitting at home, a B16 transmission, I believe. So we're gonna throw that in there soon. And then, yeah, but thank the Lord that this is fixed. So that's will be this will be the end of this video and I will see you guys probably soon. I don't know. I mean, we have to figure out what we're going to do to it next, but I don't know, probably something small and then I'll just record and show you guys what's going on. But yeah, so after that, then we'll be finished.